But as the news spread and everyone who heard it began to condemn outright this wanton act of cruelty, the persons who had been present tried to shift the blame on to others so much so that even my rivals denied it has been done on their advice. And the legate publicly denounced the jealousy of the French in this affair. He soon regretted his conduct and some days later, feeling that he had satisfied the jealousy at a time when under constraint he had me brought out of St. Medard and sent back to my own monastery where, as I said about nearly all the monks who were there before, were now my enemies. For that the disgraceful way of life and Scandalous practices made them deeply suspicious of a man whose criticism they could ill endure. A few months later, chance gave uh, them the opportunity to work for my downfall. It happened that one day in my reading, I came across a statement of B.D. in, the, in his contemporary on the acts of a uh, was bishop of Korea, Corinth, not of Athens. This seems in direct contradiction to their claim that their Patron denies is to be identified with the famous Aero Pagit, whose history shows him to have been Bishop of Athens. I showed my discovery, but by way of joke, to some of the brothers who were standing by, as evidence from the BD, which was against us. They were very much annoyed and said that BD was a complete liar and they had a more truthful witness in their own <coughs> about his doing. Ahu had spent a lot of time travelling in Greece to investigate the matter. He had found out truth and removed all shadow of doubt in the history sent which he had compiled himself. Then one of them abruptly demanded my opinion on the discrepancy between B.D. and Ahildian. I replied that the authority of B.D. whose writings are accepted by the entire Latin church carried more weight on with me. In their fury, at this answer, they began to cry, and now I had openly revealed myself as the enemy of monastery and was moreover a traitor for the whole country in seeking to destroy the glory that was special pride by denying that their patron was the Aero Pagite. I said that I had not denied it, nor did it much uh, matter whether he was Aero Pagite or came from somewhere else, seeing that he had won so bright a crown in the eyes of God. However, they hurried straight to the abode and told him about. They accused me of. He was only too ready to listen and delighted at to seize the opportunity to destroy me, for he had the greatest reason for fear, as his own life was even more scandalous than that of rest. He summoned his council and chapter of the brethren and denounced me severely, saying that he would send me straightway to the king of punishment or king for punishment on the charges of having designed on the. A royal dignity and crown. Meanwhile, he put me under close surveillance until I could be I handed over to the king. I offered to submit myself to the discipline of the rule if I had done wrong, but in vain. I was so horrified by the big wickedness in such deep despair after having borne the blows of fortune so long, feeling that the whole world has conspired against me, and with the help of the few brothers who took a pity on me and uh, the support of some of my pupils. I fled secretly night and took refuge in the uh, neighboring territory of Count Theobald, where once before I had stayed in Priory. I was slightly acquainted with the Count personally, and he had heard of my afflictions and took pity on me. There I began to live in town uh, of province, in a, a community of monks from Troyes, whose prior had long been my close friends and loved me dearly. He was overjoyed by by my arrival and met every provision for me. But uh, one day it happened that the abode of St. Denis came to the town to see Count Theobald. Theobald on some personal business. On the hearing this, I approached the Count along with the prior and begged him to intercede for me with the abode and obtain his pardon and permission to live monastic life where as a suitable place could be found. The abode and those with him took counsel together on the matter, so as to give the counter answer the same day before they left. On deliberations, they found the opinion that my intentions was to be transferred in another 
away and that would be a great uh, reproach to them for they consider that I had brought them great glory when I entered the religious life by com- coming to them in preference to all other away and now it would be a serious disgrace if I cast them off and went elsewhere. Consequently, they would not hear a word on the subject either from the count or from me. Moreover, they threatened me uh, with communication if I did not return quickly and absolutely forbid the prior with whom I had taken refused to keep me any longer under the penalty of sharing my uh, excommunication. Both the prior and I were very much alarmed at this. The vote departed still in the same and few later died. When in succession was appointed, I met with the Bishop of New York's, hoping that he would grant that from the predecessors. He too was unwilling to do so far at first. But through the interventions of some of my friends, I appealed to the king and his council, so got what I wanted. A certain Stephen, the king, a sen, uh, sen, sni, uh, sini, sini at time, summoned the abode and his uh, supporters and asked why they wished to hold me against my will uh, when this could easily involve them in scandal and do not do no, or do no good as my life and they could never possibly agree. I knew that the opinion of the king's council was that more irregular and every was a more reason why it should be subject to the king and bring him a uh, profit, at least as regarded as worldly good. And this made me think that I should easily win the contest of king and his council, which I did, but so that the monastery should not lose it. Reputation gained from having me as a member. I was given permission to withdraw to my uh, me as a member. I withdrew to any retreat I liked, provided that I did not come under the authority of any abbey. Abbe. This was agreed and confirmed on both sides in the presence of the kind and his council. And so I took myself off to a lonely spot I had known before in territory of Troyes and there on piece of land given me. Uh, by leave of the local bishop, I built a sort of oratory of the reed and that dedicated it in the name of Holy Trinity. Here I could stay hidden, alone but for uh, one of my clerks and truly cry out to the Lord. Lo, I escaped far away and found a refuge in the wilderness. No sooner was this known that the sudden began to gather there from all parts, hurrying from cities and towns to inhabit the wilderness, leaving large mon- mansions to build themselves little birds, eating wild herbs and coarse bread, Delicate food spreading reed and stone palace of bank using bank of tubs of tables. They could rightly be uh, thought of as imitating uh, the early philosophers of town Jerome in the second book of Against Jovinian says, The saints are like windows through which the vices again entry into the soul. The capital and citadels of the spirit cannot be taken except by hostile army entering through the gates. If anyone takes pleasure in the circus and athletic content, an actor spent to mime or a woman's beauty, the splendor of jewels and garments of anything that sort the liberty of his soul is captured through the window of the eye and the words of the prophet is fulfilled. Death has climbed in the uh, through our window. So when the martial force of destruction have marched through these gates into Citadel of the soul, where will its liberty be and its fortitude? Where will be the thought of good, especially when sensibility, sensibility pictures for itself pleasure for the past and by recalling its vice simply compels the souls to take part in them and is where to the practice what it does not actually. These are the considerations which have led many philosophers to leave crowded cities and gardens outside them, where they find that whatever meadows and leafy trees twittering of birds, reflections in spring waters and murmuring of brooks are so many snares of eyes and ears. They fear that amidst all this abundance of riches and strength of the soul uh, will weaken its purity be solid. No good comes from looking often on what may uh, one day seduce and in exposing yourself to the temptation of what you find it difficult to do uh, without. Indeed, the Pythagoreans used to shun this kind of content and lived in solitude and desert. Plato himself was a wealthy man and his couch was template and diagnosed with muddy feet. Yet in order to give all his time to philosophy, he chose to set up academy some way from the city in a site which was unhealthy as well as deserted. 
so that their perpetual preoccupations of sickness would break them a souls of lust and his pupil would know pleasure but what they had from their studies such too was the life that the sons of the prophet the followers of elisha are said to have led to whom amongst others <laughs> jerome writes to the monk rustics as if they were the monk of the time that the sons of the prophet who were called monks of the old testament built themselves huts by the river jordan and abandoned city crowd to live crowds to live barely a uh, meal and wild herbs my pupil built them such similar huts on the bank of the ardusan and looked like hermits rather than scholars but the greater the crowd the students who gathered and had a life and led under my teaching and more my rivals through this brought honor to me and shame upon themselves they had done all they could to harm me and now they could not be able to see things turning out of my advantage in so words of jerome remote as i was from cities a public affair no court and crowds uh and sought me out in my retreats they brooded silently over their uh, over their wrongs and began to complain why all the world's uh, world has gone after him we were gained nothing by prosecuting him only increase his fame we mean to extinguish the light of his name but all we have done is uh, make it shine and uh, still brighter see how the students have everything they need to hand in the cities but they scorn the comfort of civilization flocks to the barren wilderness and choose in this wretched life of their own accord now it was a sheer presence of poverty at the time which determined me to open since i was not strong enough to dig to proud and so return to this skill which i knew and made use of my tongue instead of working with my hands for that part my pupil provided all i needed and asked food clothing work on the land as well as building expenses so that i should not be kept away from my study by domestic cares of any kind as my already could not hold even a modest proportion of their number they were obliged to enlarge it and improve it by building in wood and stones it had been founded and dedicated in the name of the holy trinity but because i had come there as a fugitive and that so my despair in being granted some comfort of the grace of god i named in the paraclete in memory of the skip many who heard the name were astonished and some people voluntarily attacked me ground that it was not possible for my church to be assigned specifically to the holy spirit any more than to the father but that it must be dedicated according to ancient custom either a son long and uh, the whole trinity this false charge doubtless across after the mistake mistake and believe that there was no distinction between the paraclete and the holy spirit as paraclete in fact the holy trinity or any member of trinity may be addressed as god protectors and equally uh, properly be addressed as paraclete that is comforted comforter according to the world of the aristotle praise to be praise be to the god and father of our lord jesus christ the all merciful father and God whose consolation never fa- fails us he comforts us in all our troubles and the truth says and he shall give us another to be your comforter when the whole church is a uh, cons- consecrated in the name of the father and the son and of the holy spirit and in that position individually what is prevent the house of the lord from being ascribed to the father or the holy spirit just as much to the son who would presume to erase the honor's name from above or again when the son has offered himself as a sacrifice to the father and consequently in celebration of the mass in, uh, is the father to whom prayers are specially directed and the host is offered why should the altar not properly be particularly his to uh, his to whom prayers and sacrifices are specifically, specifically offered it is any better to say that the altar belong to him who sacrificed than to him who whom sacrifice is made would you claim that an altar is better named after the lord's cross or the sepulchral church saint michael saint john and saint peter or any other saint who is neither sacrificed nor is a sacrifice nor has prayer addressed uh, address to him surely even among the idolaters altar and said to belong only to those who receive sacrifice and homage perhaps some may then either church or altar be dedicated to the father because he need 
he did of his exist and calls for special feast in the honor but this argument detracts from the entire trinity not from the holy spirit since the holy spirit by its coming has its own feast of pentecost just as the son and his as feast of nativity for the holy spirit claims its own feast by coming among the disciples in justice one the son came into the world in fact it seems more fitting that the temple should be ascribed to the holy spirit than to any other member of the trinity if we pray carefully attention to apostolic authority and work in the holy spirit itself to none of the three does the apostle assign a special shrine except to the holy spirit for the sake neither of the shrine and father does of the holy spirit when he writes the first letter to the cori cori tians but he would link himself in christ is one spirit and again do you not do you not know that your body is shrine of in willing holy spirit and spirit is god gift to you <coughs> you do know, everyone knows to that the divine benefit of the sacrament administered to the church are ascribed particularly to the effective power of divine grace by which it means the holy spirit for by water and holy spirit we are reborn in baptism after which we first become a special temple for god and the sacrament of the confirmation the several seven uh, fold grace of the holy spirit is conferred on us where by the temple of god is adorned and dedicated it is then surprising that the dedicate a material temple to the one whom the apostle is specially ascribed as a spiritual one to whom can a church be more fitting consecrated than to one to whom effective power all the benefits of the church sacraments are particularly ascribed however in the first giving my orator the name of the paraclete i had no thought of declaring its dedication a single person my reason was simply that uh it was in memory of the comfort uh it has found there but even if it done so intention that generally believed it would not have been unreasonable though unknown to the general custom meanwhile though my person lay hidden in this place my fame traveled all over the world resounding even like the poetic creation echo so called because she had so large a voice but no substance my father rivals could do nothing by themselves and therefore stirred stirred up against me some new apostle i used to be i thought of the wretched useless life led as profit to myself as to others and i had once done so much for the clerk and now that i had abandoned them for the monarch monastery all i did for them and for the monk was a good I had proven ineffective in all my attempts and undertaking, so that now above all men I justify in marry to the reproach. There is a man who started to build and could not finish. I was in the deep despair when I remembered what uh, I had fled from and considered what I had met with now. My former trouble bear as nothing in retrospect, and I often used to go on and tell myself, deserve my present suffering and. for a cleat of comfort and plunging myself into certain dissolution in my eagerness to escape and i had to what torn what tormented me most of all was the thought that in abandoning my oratory i had been unable to make proper provision for celebrating the divine office since the place was then to paraclete himself brought me truth comfort in my great distress and provision provided the oratory was fitting for it was his own it happened that my Board of Saint Denis and some means <coughs> the position of a bed and good tile. Now this is page number thirty-six. <coughs> page number thirty-six. Their life, there was full of hardship at first and for a while. they suffered the greatest deprivation but soon god whom they served devotedly in his mercy brought them comfort he showed himself a true paraclete to them to in making the local people sympathetic and kindly disposed towards them indeed i fancy that their worldly goods were multiplied more in single year than mine would have been 
in a hundred. Had I had I remained there for a woman being, the weakest sex is the more pitiable in a state of need, early arousing human sympathy and her virtue is the most pleasing to God as it is to man, who was in charge of other nuns. The bishop loved her as a daughter, abodes as a sister, the laity as a mother, while all alike admire her pity and wisdom and her unequal gentleness and patience in every situation. The more rarely she allowed herself to be seen so that she could devote herself without distraction to prayer and meditations on holy things in a close set. The more eagerly did those outside remain her presence and her spiritual conversation of their guidance. But then all the people in the neighborhood began attacking me violently for doing less than I could and should to uh, minister to the needs of women. As they said, I was certainly well able to do if only through my preachings. So I started to visit them more, often to uh, see how I could help them. This provoked malicious insinu insinuations and my, and, and my distractors, detractors from their usual preservance, perverse, perverseness had had the effrontery to accuse me of doing what genuine charity prompted because I was still a slave to the pleasure of carnal desire and could rarely or never bear the, uh, the absence of the woman I had once loved. I often repeated to myself the, uh, the, the lament of St. Jerome in his letter to Asila about false friends. The only f uh, fault found in me is my sex and that only when Paula comes to Jerusalem and again before I knew the house of saintly Paula, my praises were sung throughout the city and nearly everyone judged me worthy of highest office of the church. But I know well that it is through the good and evil reports that we make our way to the kingdom of heaven. When, as I say, I recall the injustice of such a uh, calmly ca calumny against so great a man, I took no small comfort for it. If my rivals said I where to find such strong uh, grounds for suspicion. When as I say, I recall the injustice of such a clumsy as a calm calumny against so great man, I took no small comfort for it. If my rivals said I were to find such strong grounds of suspicion in my case, how I should suffer from their slander. But now that I have been I have been freed from such suspicion by God's mercy and the power to commit this sin, this sin is taken from me. Now, how can the suspicion remain? What is the meaning of this latest monstrous accusation? My present condition removes suspicion of evil doing so completely from everyone's mind that man who wished to keep close watch on the wife's uh, employ eunuch and a sacred history tells us in the case of Esther and the other uh, other concubines of kings Ahaha Suiras. We also read that it was a eunuch of the Ethiopian queen uh, Candace, a man of authority in charge of all her treasure, whom the postal Philip was directed by the angel to convert and baptize. Such men have always held position of responsibility and familiarity in the home of modest and uh, honorable women simply because they are far removed from suspicion of this king, this kind, and it was so, uh, it was to rid himself of entirety entirely when planning to include women in this teaching and sacred learning that the great Christian philosopher Origen laid violent against on himself as box. Book 6 of the history of the church relates. However, I thought that in this God's mercy had been kinder to me than to uh, him, for he is believed to have acted on, the, on impulse and been strongly insure, uh, censured as a result, whereas it has happened to me through no fault of mine, but so that I might be set free 
are for a similar work and with all the less pain of being quick and sudden are for i sleep uh, i asleep and attack and felt particularly nothing yet through perhaps i suffered less physical pain at the time i am now the more distressed for the calumny i must endure my agony is less for the mul- mutilation of my body than for the damage to my reputation for it is written, written that a good name is more to be desired than great riches <coughs> And yet though perhaps I suffered less physical pain at time, I am now the more distressed for the clumny I must endure. My agony is less of the mutilation of my body than for the damage to my reputation. For it is written that a good name is more be desired than great riches. In his sermons on the life and morals of clerics, St. Augustine remarked that he who relies on his conscience to the neglect of his reputation is cruel to himself and our real own says for our aim as the apostle says are honorable not only in god's sight but also in the eyes of man for ourselves our conscience within us is sufficient for your sake our reputation should not be solid but should be powerful amongst you conscience and reputation are two different things conscience concerns your self reputation your neighbor but what would my enemies in that malice have said to Christ himself and his followers to the prophet and apostle or the other holy fathers and they lived in their times when these men were seen with their manhood intact consorting with women in the friendliest term here also said of his time in his book on the work of monk proves that women too were the inseparable companions of our lord jesus christ and apostle even to the extent of accompanying them on their preaching to this end faithful women who had worldly goods went with them and made provisions for them so that they should lack none of the necessities of this life if any one does not believe that it was the practice of the apostle to lay, take with them when a holy life when where, wherever they preach the gospel he had only to hear the gospel to know that they did this follow in the example of lord himself for there is written after this he went journeying for whom uh, go down to town village to village proclaiming the good news of god with him were that 12 and number of women who had set free from evil spirit of in, infirmities mary known as mary of magdala joanna the wife of chusa herods Stewart and Susanna these women provided for them out of their own resources Leo and Nin to in answer to letter of Parmenian of the monastery of Studia says we declared absolutely no bishop press press by stir press by turn decan and sub decan may given up the grace of wife in the name of religion so as not to provide her wife with food and clothing though he may uh, not lie with her carnally this was the practice of the holy apostle as we read in st paul have i not a uh, right to take the christian life about with me like the rest of the apostle and lord's brothers take not your fool that he did not say have i no right to embrace a wife but to take about meaning that they should support their wives on the profit from their preaching not that they should have further carnal intercourse with them certainly that phrase who said to himself of the lord if this man were a real prophet he would know who this woman is who touches him and what sort of woman she is a sinner could have supposed for far more easily as far as human judgment goes that the lord was guilty of evil living then my enemies could imagine the same of me while anyone who saw the lord's mother entrusted the care of young women to the prophet enjoying the hospita- hospitality and conversation of the widow would entertain far more probable suspicion and what would my de- detractor have said if they had seen malchus the captive monk of st jerome's 
writer living in the same home with his wife in their eyes it would have been a great crime though the famous doctor had nothing but high praise of what he saw there was an old man named Marcus there a native of the place an old woman living in his cottage both of them were so eager for the fame for ever wearing down the threshold of the church they would have thought that as Zacharias and Elizabeth in the gospel but for fact that zone shown was not with them finally why did they refrain from accusing the holy fathers themselves when we have often read seen and how they founded monasteries of women too and ministers to them there fooling the example of the seven deacons who were appointed to wait at the table and look after the women the weaker sex needs the help of the stronger so much so that the apostle lays down that the man must always be over the woman as he had and sign of this he ordered her always to have her head covered and so i must surprise that the custom should have been long established in convents of putting a base in charge of women just as a boats are set over men and of the binding women by profession according to the same rule <clears throat> and so i am much surprised that the custom should have been long established in convent of putting a base in charge of women just a boat just as a boat as said over man and binding women for prof- uh, profession according to the same rule for that much rule which can't be carried out by women by the authority or subordinate in several places to the natural order is overthrown to the extent that we see abbesses and nuns ruling the clergy who have authority Finally, why do they refrain accusing the holy fathers themselves when we have often read or seen how they founded monasteries for women too and monasteries too? They are following the example of the seven deacons who were appointed to wait uh, at the table and look after women. The weaker sex need the help of stronger. After much reflection, I decided to do all I could to provide for the sisters of the paraclete. to manage their affairs to watch over them in prison in person to so or uh, they may would cover a uh, river me with more and thus to minister better to their needs the prosecution i was now suffering at the hands of monk who were my son was ever more pre- uh, persistent and distressing than i should previously uh, for my brother so i thought i could turn to the sister as i have no peace and safely from the ranging storm find ropes there for while and at least achieve something amongst them i had failed with the monks indeed a uh, more they needed me uh, but now satan has put so many obstacles in my path and i can find themselves no way to rest or even to lie a fugitive and wanderer i carry everywhere the curse of cain uh, forever tormented as i said about the quarrels of of all around 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 us forbidding in our heart or rather quarrels and forbidding without the without and within the apostility of my son here is far more relentless and dangerous than that of enemies for i have them always with me and must be forever on my guard against their treachery i can see my enemies violence as a danger to my person if i go outside the cloister but it is within the cloister that i had to face the uh, incessant assault as crafty as they are violent of my sons that of monk interested to my care and that of our and father how many times have they tried to poison me as happened at saint benedict
the same uh, reason which led him to abandon his uh, depraved son might well have encouraged me to follow the example of so great the father of the church less in exposing myself to certain danger i should be with that rash temper rather than a true love of god or even appear to be my own destroyer and while i guarded as i, I uh, as well as i could against that daily assault by providing my own food and drink they tried to destroy me during very sacrifices all altar uh, by putting poison in uh, chalik on other day when i had gone into nantes to visit the count who was ill and was staying there in the home of one of my brothers in the flesh they tried to poison me by the hand of one of the servants accompanying me supposing no doubt that i should be less on my guard against the plot of that king by god's intervention it happened that i did not touch any of the food prepared for me but one of the monk i had brought from the abbey who knew nothing of their intention and ate in uh, and dropped dead and servants who had dared to do this fled in terror as much as through conscience consciousness in his guilt and because of evidence of the crime for uh, from them on their villainy was known uh, to all and i began to make no secrets of the fact that i was avoiding their snares as well as i could i even removed myself from the abbey and lived in small cell with a few companions but whenever the monks heard that i was traveling anywhere they would bribe robbers and uh, station them on the roads and by way uh, to murder me i was still struggling against all these perils who one day the hands of the lord struck me sharply and i fell from my saddle breaking my collar bone this fracture caused me far greater pain and weakened me more than my previous injury sometime i tried to put a stop to their lawless insubordination by excommunication and compel those of them i must fear to promise me uh, either on their honor or the oath taken before the rest that they were leave that they would leave the abbey altogether and trouble me no more but then uh, they they would openly and shamelessly violent both the word as they had given an oath they had shown until in the end they were forced to renew their oath on this and may other things in the presence of the count uh, and the bishop by authority of the roman pope in innocent through uh, his special legate sent for this purpose even that they would not live in a peace after those mentioned had been expelled i recently came back to the abbey and entrusted myself to the remaining brothers from whom i thought i had less to fear i found them even worse than the others they did not deal with poison but with the dagger held to my throat and it was only under the protection of the certain lord of and of them that i managed to escape i am still in danger and every day i imagine a sword hanging over my head so that i at means i dare scarcely breathe like the man who read about who suppose the power and wealth of the tyrant uh, Dionysius to constitute the greater happiness until he looked up and saw sword suspended by a threat over uh, Dionysius head. Then he learned what sort of joy it is with the accompanied uh, earthly power. This is my experience all time, and a poor monk raised me to be an abbot and more wretched as I have become more wealthy in order to. that my example may curb an ambition of those who have deliberately chosen a similar course dearly believe beloved brother in christ close friends and long standing companion this is the story of my fifth fortune which have dodged me almost since i felt my cradle let the fact that i have written in with your own affliction and injury you have suffered in mind suffice to enable you and i said that beginning of this letter to think of your trouble as a little of nothing in comparison with mine and to bear it with more patience when you can see it in proportion take comfort from what the lord told his followers about the followers of the devil as they prosecute me they will prosecute you if you a uh, world hates if the world hates you it hates me first and you know well if you belonged to the world the world would love it on its own and the apostle says prosecution will come to all who want to live a goodly life as christian and elsewhere do you think i'm caring favor with men if i still sought men's favor i should be no servant of christ 
the psalmist says that they are destroyed with seek to please man since god has rejection rejected them it was within yeah, it was with this particularly in mind that said zero who's higher i considered myself in regards landed and falls wrote in this letter in nepotian nepotian if i still sought men's favor says the apostle i should be no servant of christ he had ceased to seek man's favor and is become the servant of christ he also wrote to asila concerning false friends thank god i had deserved the hatred of the world and to the monk uh, helio dorus you are wrong brother wrong if you think that the christian can never be free of prosecution our adversary like a roaring lion prowls around seeking someone to devour and do you think of pc sits in ambush with the rich let us then take heart with the proof and example and be our wrong of cheerfully the more we know and undeserve let us not doubt that if they add nothing to merit at least contribute to the expa expiation of our sin and since everything is managed by divine ordinance each one of the faithful when it comes to rest may must take comfort at uh, from the knowledge and god's supreme goodness allow nothing to be done outside please subscribe the channel dr anju gurava